Hi guys, so I just received a comment on Instagram asking me how I deal with heat waves and I thought I would throw together a few tips. So I'm living in this heat wave situation at the same time as you all and so I've already been doing these things to keep myself cool and I thought I would just try and get this video up as quickly as I can. So firstly we'll explain this hair. I've just got out of the shower because having showers are one of the best ways you can keep yourself cool. It's actually not the shower itself that cools you down, it's that when you get out the water evaporates from your skin and from your hair and that cools you down. It's a similar process to how sweating keeps you cool but obviously it's a lot nicer to be cooling down from a shower than to just be so hot that you're sweating. <laughs> Probably the biggest thing you can do to keep yourself cool in the summer is to keep your curtains closed and if you can to keep your windows closed as well. The windows are less of a factor. I know that there's an argument for keeping them open and there's an argument for keeping them closed but certainly keeping your curtains shut or your blinds shut will block out a lot of that sunlight. My flat here has self-facing windows which get extremely hot so my friends helped me put up some blackout blinds and then I already had blackout curtains and that's going to block out the maximum amount of sunlight. So if you can, switching to blackout blinds or blackout curtains would be your best bet. But if not, just closing whatever curtains or blinds you do have will do a good job at blocking out some of the sun. The next tip is one I saw online and it is to freeze your pillowcases. So if you have the energy, you can pop them in there at the beginning of the day and then at night, put them back on your bed and you will have a cool place to rest your head. I don't know if you can hear, this is the sort of noise <laughs> I'm talking about. My next tip is to get a cooling blanket. I wish you could feel this. It's really cool how it works and I mean cool as in both senses of the word. It just feels so cold and this is sitting on my lap here and I already feel so much cooler. I honestly don't know how this works but I think the best way to think of it is how some materials are just naturally colder than others. So if you think about something fluffy that's going to be warm but then something like silky how that might be cooler. This is a similar idea to that so it's very um like smooth and there's just no fluff to it there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing that could be warm about it that's the best way I can describe it that description is is rubbish because there's technology in this to make it cool but it really does work and it is crazy just feeling it this is so cold right now so I'll leave a link to this you can get them on Amazon um, and I'll recommend this one just because I know that this one works and yeah, it's so great for sleeping in or you can just have it on yourself in the daytime. They really are great. My next tip is an oldie but a goldie and that is to put buckets of ice water in front of your fans. So in the UK, we don't have air conditioning. So a lot of us use fans and it just circulates the air and it does make us feel cool and it does cool us down but it's not actually going to lower the room temperature even though it feels cooler. However, if you put a bucket of ice water in front of it, that can sometimes actually cool the air a little bit and possibly a spoony take on that would be a fan that comes with a ice tray. My friend Izzy, a lot of you know Izzy from her channel, actually bought me a fan that has a water tray so I don't have to worry about filling ice buckets. I can just fill the water tray in this little fan and it's a lot more spoony friendly. So thank you so much to Izzy for that. She bought it for me in the last heat wave because we were just talking about heat waves and the next thing I know that turned up. So <laughs> thank you so much Izzy. And I do think that's a lot more spoony friendly than dealing with ice buckets. The next thing I recommend are some neck fans. I saw these from my friend Jenny over at Chronically Jenny. She's used them for a couple of years now and they're just a set of fans that go on your neck and, <laughs> and work as fans to cool you down. I don't have a pair myself 
but I would like to get some and I think they just seem like a really great idea. They're portable as well so you can walk from room to room or even go out of the house with them and you just know that wherever you go you're going to have a fan on you. Other things you can do is eat cool foods and stay hydrated. So things like drinking a lot of water is going to be really good for you as well as eating things like watermelon, cucumber, ice cream, ice lollies, yogurts, all of that will be really good because it's hydrating and it's also cooling. You can also get cool towels as well which you soak in cold water and then put them over yourself and they slowly evaporate. So that could be a good alternative to having showers since showers take up so much energy. And my last tip is to put your skincare in the fridge. Now this one isn't going to cool you down a whole lot but it is something nice you can do for yourself and it's quite refreshing in the morning or the evening to have something cool to put on your face. So they were my tips. This was a very impromptu video so sorry about the wet hair, the background noise and just how this video was. It's the best I could do. <laughs> it's the best I could do basically. <laughs> um, so I hope these help. Give it a thumbs up if it did. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. It's noise.